Hare Krishna. We will begin reading from Goranga, The Golden Incarnation of Divine Love by His Holiness Jai Pataka Swami. As we know, Gaurapunima is going to be uh, almost end of this month. So we will begin from the section 1 which is Appearance and Childhood Pastimes. I'll read the foreword from the book, which is by His Holiness Radhanath Swami. For several decades all over the world, thousands of people have been eagerly awaiting this book, especially myself in the 1970s. I would totally absorb myself in hearing tapes of His Holiness Jai Pataka Maharaj narrating the pastimes of Lord Chaitanya. His incredible knowledge and spontaneous love thrilled my soul. Countless people have had the same experience. When Jai Pataka Maharaj speaks, the Lord's pastimes are blissfully enacted in our hearts. Back in 1970, as a teenager, Jai Pataka Maharaj left the comforts and riches of America to assist his beloved Guru, His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada in India. He has been based in Mayapur Dham, Bengal, the birthplace of Lord Chaitanya, since that time. Learning the Bengali language, he became famous as an American saint who could mesmerize hundreds and thousands of Bengalis in their own language as he traveled throughout their cities, towns and villages, later speaking in his mother tongue of English, he extensively circled the world, lifting countless hearts like no one else could do. Lord Chaitanya, the Golden Avatar, appeared 525 years ago. Sri Krishna came to taste and distribute the love of Sri Radha through chanting God's sacred names. Just to, just to tell you that this book came in 2012 Goranga as we are going to begin reading soon so I'm covering the forward so in the age of Kali everyone offered uh, in the age of Kali he offered everyone without consideration of material qualifications or disqualifications the highest revelation of spiritual ecstasy. He only asked that we accept his gift of grace with a sincere and earnest heart. Lord Chaitanya begin a spiritual revolution of consciousness to liberate the soul from the tyranny of ignorance and taste the infinite freedom for Krishna Prem. Goranga, the golden incarnation of divine love, is overflowing with stories of Lord Chaitanya that have captured the hearts of millions of souls throughout the centuries and they are being told by the person who Srila Prabhupada had once said Lord Chaitanya had sent to this world. We are immensely grateful to Jai Pataka Maharaj for presenting to humanity this invaluable treasure. So we are going to begin section 1 of the book Koranga Appearance and Childhood Pastimes. The avatar for this age. The Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Shri Krishna, descends to the earth once in a day of Brahma. Brahma's day is calculated as 1000 cycles of four ages of yugas, Satya, Treta, Dwapar and Kali. Krishna comes in the Dwapar Yuga and Lord Chaitanya comes in the Kali Yuga, which began about 5000 years ago and is characterized by quarrel and hypocrisy. It is very hard to be materially happy in the Kali Yuga, but there is one redeeming quality of this age. Although the Kali Yuga is like an ocean of defects, one can get liberated from material association and achieve the spiritual kingdom by chanting Krishna's holy name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. 
Usually it takes many, many births to achieve the spiritual sky, but by the mercy of Lord Chaitanya through chanting Hare Krishna, one can achieve it in a relatively short period of time. In the Satya Yuga, people lived for 100,000 years. In Treta Yuga, they lived for 10,000 years and in Dwapar for a thousand years. When Krishna was speaking Bhagavad Gita, he was a grandfather. He was 125 years old. Of course, Krishna has a spiritual body and he didn't look any older than a 20 or 25 year old man. But in this Kali Yuga, people are described as being short-lived. They only live for around 100 years. Therefore, a special process of self-realization is required for the people of this age. Lord Chaitanya comes to show us by his own example how to follow the teachings left by Lord Krishna and attain perfection in this age. He gives us the process by which we can get back to Krishna Lok, back to our original life of purely loving Lord Krishna. Narad Muni visits Lord Krishna in Dwarka. In the Chaitanya Mangal, it is described that the great sage Narad Muni could foresee that Kali Yuga was coming very soon. He wanted to ask Lord Krishna what was the solution to all the problems of Kali Yuga. So he went to meet Krishna at Dwarka. At that time, Krishna was staying at the palace of Satyabhama and he had informed Rukmini that later he was coming, going to visit her palace. So she had cleaned the palace with all her maid servants, and she had the children all dressed nicely. The pundits there to chant the Vedic mantras and full water pots and banana trees and trees of sugar cane. She did everything she could to could do to make an auspicious welcome for Sri Krishna. So when Krishna came, he was given a really wonderful welcome. She sent her children to embrace their father and then she took them inside, him inside into the inner quarters. She offered a special sitting place for Krishna and then she began to do the Pada Puja, bathing the lotus feet of Lord Krishna. Just then Rukmini started to cry and Krishna was amazed thinking, why is she happy to see me and at the same time crying? So Krishna asked her, why are you crying? Did one of your servants argue back? To you today? Did the children not listen to you? What is the reason you are crying? She looked at him and said, you really don't know why I'm crying, do you? Radharani knows. She knows why I'm crying. I'm crying because you come, came to my house, but one day you will leave it. If you promise you will never leave my house, I won't cry. Krishna consoled her. No, I'm not going to leave you. I'm not going to make you cry. Like this, he tried to pacify her. He brought her next to him and wiped the tears from her eyes. Meanwhile, Narad Muni came to see to the window. Krishna saw Narad and called out, O oh, Gurudev, O oh, Gurudev. Krishna was saved from the embarrassing situation with Rukmini Devi. Then along, so Narad Muni called out Krishna. Then along with Rukmini, he bathed the feet of Narad Muni they had a special Guru Asana. Sorry, I will repeat that. Krishna saw Narad and called out, O Gurudev, O Gurudev, to Narad Muni. And then along with Rukmini, he bathed the feet of Narad Muni. They had a special Guru Asana and as they sat him down on the Asana, Krishna saw that Narad Muni was disturbed. Krishna was wondering, how is it that today my wife is crying and my guru is disturbed, although he is usually always peaceful? So he asked Narad Muni, why are you disturbed? Narad replied, I can see by the symptoms of the world that Kali Yuga is soon going to start, just as when the sun is about to set, it becomes twilight. I can see that people are becoming more materialistic, more attached to the opposite sex, in this way, the symptoms of Kali Yuga are beginning, and that means your presence is fading. Soon you will leave this world and Kali Yuga will begin. So I want to know what is your solution for the conditioned souls? How will they be delivered in Kali Yuga? I am very concerned about the Kali Yuga souls. 
then Lord Krishna was considering how Rukmini Devi was saying that only Radharani knows what she is feeling and how Narad was so concerned about the deliverance of the conditioned souls of Kali Yuga. Krishna thought and said, I will come again in Kali Yuga and I will take the mood and color of Radharani. I will have a golden form, Goranga. So Krishna predicted that he would come again as Goranga in Kali Yuga and he instructed Narad Muni, you tell all the devas to incarnate in Bengal and in this way we will flood the world with Harinam Sankirtan. Maybe some of our devotees have come down to join the Sankirtan movement of Lord Chaitanya from the higher planets and they may not even know it. Some devotees, as soon as they come in, came in contact with the Sankirtan movement, they joined up. This is a sign that in a previous life they had a connection. So Narad Muni went to different planets to invite the people to come down and join Krishna's incarnation as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Then he went to Jagannath, Baldev and Subhadra and they advised him that he should go to Brahmalok. From Brahmalok, Lord Brahma came as Haridas Thakur. Then Narad went to the Shvetadvip in Golok Vrindavan where he saw Lord Chaitanya being bathed by the queens of Dwarka and the gopis of Vrindavan. He paid his obeisances and Lord Chaitanya was surprised to see Narad Muni coming from the universe of the four-headed Brahma. Narad said, I am concerned that you are leaving the earth planet as Krishna and the Kali Yuga will begin. In this way, he asked Lord Chaitanya what, would, what he would do to save the people of Kali Yuga. So Lord Chaitanya told all the gopis and ranis, I am going to go into the four-headed Brahmand to spread love of Godhead freely to everyone. Who wants to come with me? Everybody wanted to come. Lord Chaitanya said that he would preach all over India and he would send his Senapati Bhakt, commander-in-chief devotee, who would go and deliver all others. Srila Prabhupada is the Senapati Bhakt who went and delivered the people on all the continents of the world. So Radharani came as Gadadhar, Narad as Srivas, and Satyabhama came as Jagadanand Pandit. Some devotees came from the spiritual world and some joined from the earth planet. Some came from the heavenly planets Brihaspati was Sarvabhom Bhattacharya and Parvat Muni was Vidya Vachaspati. In this way different devotees came from all over the universe and from the spiritual world. Then Lord Chaitanya also asked Narad Muni to beg Balram to come. So Narad Muni went to see the transcendental form of Narad, Balram. He paid his obeisances, told him Lord Chaitanya was coming and invited him to come. Then Lord Brahma decided to appear in eight chakra with his associates. The cowherd boys from Vrindavan, in this incarnation Balram is known as Nitai. If you go to Nityanand's birthplace in Ek Chakra, you have to say Nitai Gora. If you say Gora Nitai, they get very offended. You must say Nitai first. By Nitai's mercy, you get Gora's mercy. So in this way, Narad Muni went all around the universe and asked everyone to come to Lord Chaitanya's pastimes. Lord Chaitanya came to deliver love for Krishna freely. He liberates one from this material world and takes them back to the spiritual world. Normally, it takes many, many births to get back to the spiritual world, but by Lord Chaitanya's mercy, one can get back even in this one birth. Because in Kali Yuga, people are more irreligious, Lord Chaitanya gave a simple process, singing Hare Krishna, dancing, feasting and thinking, a little about philosophy and the glories of the Lord. He is Krishna himself playing the part of a devotee to give us the process of how to reawaken our love for Krishna. Krishna is actually supremely neutral and equal. He reciprocates with us according to our mood. Unfortunately, sometimes our mood of surrender may not be so perfect 
Therefore, we may not be qualified to get that full type of reciprocation from Krishna. So some of the great devotees, they had the wish that Krishna wouldn't be so equal, that he would be a little more merciful and out of his own initiative would actually give that mercy. Krishna is obliged to be impartial in his form as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. However, Lord Chaitanya is taking on the colour and mood of Radharani, the topmost devotee. And because the devotee is always glorifying Krishna and always telling the fallen souls to worship Krishna and surrender to Krishna, in his form as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the Lord has manifested that quality of actively trying to deliver all of the fallen souls. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is glorified as being even more merciful than Krishna. He is Krishna, but he is Krishna in a more merciful form. Brahma meditates on Goranga in Navadvip. In the Vrindavan Leela, after Lord Brahma had stolen the Lord's calves and cowherd boys, Krishna, the creator of the whole cosmic creation, expanded himself as the calves and boys just to create pleasure both for Brahma and for the mothers of the calves and cowherd boys. Krishna can do anything. He can create the whole cosmic manifestation. He can do anything and everything. He does it with his own style and he does it in such a way that no one knows that he is doing it. He does it very naturally. Krishna was looking for the calves and when Brahma saw that Krishna was away, he stole away all the cowherd boys to show his power and Lord Krishna's power. Krishna came back and was looking everywhere for the boys. Sometimes Krishna enters so much into his pastimes that for some time he is just completely absorbed in the pastimes. But when immediately he can take advantage of his unlimited knowledge of everything, so then he realized that Brahma took the boys and he thought, okay, Brahma is playing tricks, all right. Then he remanifested all the cowherd boys and he himself became the cowherd boys and also the calves that Brahma had stolen when Krishna was looking for the boys. Of course, Brahma had already left, but then he got worried and came back. In this period, one year had passed and so many things happened. Krishna did all this to create pleasure for Brahma and the mothers of the calves and cowherd boys. They all love Krishna in the village of Vrindavan. Everybody loves their children, but they love Krishna more. They can't keep talking about Krishna. Krishna is the center of everything there. Nanda Maharaj and Yashoda, they had the opportunity to become the direct mother and father of Krishna. But now Krishna is giving everyone the chance to be his parents directly for one year. This is a very special thing. This is how he gave all the mothers of the cowherd boys special pleasure. Now they had directly become the mothers of Krishna. They were seeing their own child's form, but the affection they felt for Krishna, they could now directly shower upon their own child. Even the mothers of the calves, they were able to feed Krishna directly their milk and lick Krishna as if their own calf. In this one pastime, so many amazing things were happening. And this is also giving Brahma pleasure. When Brahma comes back, he gets the supreme pleasure. He will realize that what is his position in relation to Krishna and that is going to help him to achieve devotional service. Krishna creates entire unlimited millions of universes. So what is the difficulty of manifesting some cowherd boys and calves? Nothing is difficult for Krishna. Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. There is no difficulty if he wants to manifest himself in any number of forms. Nothing is out of his reach. After Brahma was humbled, when he realized that his potency is in insignificant compared to the potency of Krishna, he went to Navadvip Dham and in the center of Navadvip Dham, he started to meditate and he was told that he should meditate on the holy name of Lord who will appear in Kali Yuga. So Brahma started to chant Goranga, Goranga, Goranga. Although Lord Chaitanya appeared 500 years ago, he is 
eternally in Navadvip Dham. He was there 5,000 years ago. He was there 5 million years ago. He is even there today. If you have the good fortune to see him, you can see him there today. Brahma wanted the mercy of the Lord, so he was chanting, Gauranga, 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 Gauranga. By his chanting again and again, Lord Chaitanya revealed himself to him. To him. Brahma jumped up and paid his obeisances. He wanted to speak something, but he was so overwhelmed. He had received so much happiness. Krishna was giving Brahma happiness by humbling him. Now Brahma would really get unlimited happiness by having the darshan or vision of Lord Chaitanya. So Lord Chaitanya asked, what do you want? Why are you calling me? Then Brahma said, my dear Lord, I want your mercy. I understand that you are going to come in the future in Kali Yuga. Already 50% of my life is over and I am still so fallen. I committed an offense. I stole your calves and the cowherd boys. When will I become naturally humble and purified, free from all these offenses? Please bless me that I can be free from the offensive mentality and that I can develop pure love for Krishna. You are giving out love of Krishna. So please bless me that I can have pure love for Krishna and that when you appear in the world, I can be one of your associates and participate in your pastimes. Watching a drama is fun, but playing the drama is more fun. In Krishna's pastimes, the devas are watching from above, but if you can take part in the pastime, it is much better. So Brahma wanted to be part of the pastimes also. Then Lord Chaitanya told him, so be it, you can have what you want. So we will continue next time from here onwards. Thank you for joining. Hare Krishna.